just a little bit of ice cream left. Here we are in Tiberias. It's a modern day city, a wonderful seaside resort, a little bit like Brighton in miniature. And, and the ice cream really is very, very good. Excuse me if I just finish it. Here we are. Over here is where we bought the ice cream. Gelato Italian ice cream. And if you want a Hebrew lesson, you've got it there. Read gelato on the right hand side, the big print. And I'm not sure of the first word, I guess it's Italian. But the second word at the bottom is ice cream. And it's wonderful. Here we are in a beautiful, uh, in a marvellous kind of uh, all sorts of things to buy kind of resort, seaside resort at its best. And when I first saw, when I, when I first saw uh, Tiberius like this, I thought, what a travesty! This isn't this isn't the Tiberius that I was expecting to see. This isn't the Sea of Galilee that I was expecting. And yet. It is the Sea of Galilee that's true to Jesus. Look round here, if we can just turn round here, there's a disco boat just about to set off. And I'm thinking, oh, now you can hear the music. It's brilliant, the heavy beat of disco dancing and the party setting off. It's wonderful. And, and you think, this isn't the Sea of Galilee, the quiet, still Sea of Galilee, the Syrian Sea that I'd always imagined. And I thought, what a travesty. Just not right. And yet it is right because Tiberius was built by Herod Antipas, son of Herod the Great, the Herod Antipas who was involved in the trial of Jesus. And at the time of Jesus, this was a brand new city. Herod Antipas had built it as his headquarters on the, sh on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. This was the center of Roman power. This was part of the process of Romanization. You first have conquest, then you have your urbanization and your commercialization, and it's still going on. This was what Jesus was offering an alternative to. And his alternative involved a different way of being kingdom. Not the commercialization and urbanization and military power of Rome, but a way based on love for God, love for neighbor, love for your enemy too. And on the shores of the Sea of Galilee at Capernaum, just where we're looking now, facing the city of Tiberias, he set out in the Sermon on the Mount his manifesto for a different way of being society, a different way of being under the rule of God, and a different way of allowing the kingdom and rule of God to take root in our hearts, in our homes, and in our world.